going to play MLD The Show. Getting excited for the new one coming out. March, I think it's March 29th, March 26th, something like that. <clears throat> Let's see. I've been playing a couple games in the last few days. Should go with the Brewers. All right, we'll go with Zach Davies. I like pitching, pitching with Zach Davies and his two-seam fastball. All right, so I'm not gonna look here. I always randomize the month, whether it's open or closed, and then the time. I did not look. <laughs> Let's see if we get any opponents. Pretty late in the season right now. People not wanting to play this right much anymore on online rank play. Yesterday I got some opponents. A couple were pretty good. I, I'm really struggling with this thing right here, this match quality. Um, I think when it's up here and that number gets too far, the game gets wacky. And I've played, like if I move this up here to where it's wide open, it pretty much will accept anybody that's connected to play with. Um, the game is wacky. Like the game is way more random. Uh... You tend, I believe that the higher rated player tends to get penalized more because I'm seeing things like I'm making no, I'm making four errors in a game and the other guy who may be a lower ranked player is only making, isn't making any. I'm seeing pass balls at timely moments on um, when the game quality is wide open like this. So what I like to do is see when it gets off of 2,500, right at about the 1325 mark right there. I like to push it up a little bit from there, maybe like 1450. 14, now it shouldn't matter because that, that range will really get anybody um, who is connecting. Most ratings are between 1457 and 2334, as you see right there. But... I don't know. I mean, I'd much rather somebody connect up in here and the game be, like, on the level. I think this match quality rating has to do with how much they're going to allow a worse-rated player to stay in the game. And you'll notice this uh, when you're hitting. Um, you will, uh, even on the screen feedback, will barrel up a ball and it'll say, good, good, and it, it'll just be a sweet spot swing. But when... It flies off the bat. It'll either be a laser right at a guy, a line drive that would that looks like a double in the outfield, but the outfielder will just be able to get it, or it will. Um, you'll you'll see pop outs like on balls that are squared up. I'll see if it happens this game. I can. I'll try to be honest about it. I I can generally tell when it's a good opponent and when it's a good game. I'm just sick and tired of, you know, battling and battling and battling when it should be even in online rank play. And you can clearly tell that certain opponents are getting help. So hopefully in a few seconds we'll get an opponent here. I'll keep it at 14, about 1437. It's, this part's probably just superstition for me. Um... It may not make a difference, but I'm telling you, well, just for demonstration purposes, I'll put it wide open. So anybody, the range is open for anybody to connect. Even, I can't imagine somebody being ranked 2,500. That's impossible, but... I've just seen some whack stuff in this game... Absolutely dominating hitters the other day with Aaron Nola. 
Um, I had, you know, maybe seven, eight strikeouts through five innings. Um, I was pitching a one hitter at the time. And all of a sudden, Aaron Nola, on any pitch I threw, whether the cursor, the indicator was inside of the zone or not, the ball will go outside of the zone. And you can just kind of tell. I mean, it should be that way a little bit because, you know, baseball should have some randomness in it. Nobody can hit their spots as a pitcher all the time. But it's very, very timely. And I know people complain about this online and I, it's tough to hear and stuff like that. I, I get it. I'm not whining. I think this is my favorite video game. This is the game that I've spent 14 years playing. It's my favorite sport on earth. Baseball is my religion. I just freaking love um, the game. But And so I've, I played baseball for a long time. I played since I was 8 years old until hardball until about I was 26. I just have a feel for this game. I've studied it my entire life and how it should be. And it just doesn't seem right. But here we go. Let's see what happens. I hope the quality isn't up too high to make the game lag at all. I'm going to keep my lineup stock. The Brewers have a pretty good stock lineup. This is how they would play it versus a righty. And, of course, we've got Max Scherzer. <laughs> so... <clears throat> You can see they're throwing three left-handers and two switch hitters in there. It means five of nine hitters, you know, including the pitcher, are going to be the opposite hand right now. And so that's big to know when you play MLB The Show. The hard at-bats are going to be opposite hand, and you really want to have strategy when you're going, like, facing Bryce Harper, Adam Eaton, etc. Daytime baseball. So, MLB here we go. Of course, we're playing away. In store between the Milwaukee Brewers now, and Max Scherzer the Washington is Nationals. rough. That Major slider is nasty. So, what you got to right do is try to run up his pitch count. Even, But even that won't help much because unless you really get him out to 20 pitch and innings because his stamina and is at about some here, we'll, no, we'll check it on the next ready one. to deliver here's the first pitch and afternoon baseball on MLB Network Dodger Gus for playing yeah I mean Max Scherzer's has got a 94 stamina so all right let's bear that I like to let a couple pitches go just to make this guy understand that I'm not really going to swing at everything. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. One away. It was a contact swing. Got pretty good wood on it. But he was pretty centered up. Maybe a little out of the zone. Penalize me. Now if he's going to bring that up there, I'll remember that. Not this one should be low and away. For baseball, 54 degrees here at first pitch. Yep. And a curveball. Right. This one clocked at 78, and it's 0 and 2. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Popped him up. Ah, I thought he would be way further. I thought that would be way further towards the zone. He really let that Here's one fly. Ryan now. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Doesn't seem to be throwing many balls. He's pitching the rest of them. Yeah, Scherzer is the best. So you gotta, you gotta get your good at bats against them. Get good wood on them. Let's see how we're doing here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Takes a fastball on the inside patience. corner. And that one just missed outside. See if he'll fish on a change. Yep. Change up gets him out in front for strike two. The danger pitch. Smoked on the ground left side. See a lot of that too. This is not a bad player. You can tell he's pretty good. But I don't ever get the seeing eye singles like that on, with two strikes. Turner digs in now. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. He's two for three. Runners on the move for second. And they've got the He doesn't understand. I know how to fake throw. That was really stupid of that guy. Down between first and second. And a mental mistake. You can sometimes you can use your 
A lot of times you can use players' aggressiveness against them. Look at that. This guy's still all pissed off. He got thrown out. That pitch wasn't even close. You could tell this guy's been in the swing mode from the minute he walked into the batter's box. Behind 0-2 now. Pulled the string on him. Strike three swinging. Up with it, Pena. Oh, no see, look at that. Him, what am I telling you? 99 out of 100 times, that's he just so throws it to first. All of a sudden, an error first. when Bryce Harper's coming up. So you get weird shit Bryce like this. Harper. I won't get an error the whole game. Now a throw over, and he'll dive back in safely. That's two plays in a row. A seeing eye single and an error. First delivery to him on the way. Now started to go down after it, and he couldn't hold back. It's strike one. Here's a look over to first. And now, most amateurish in. baseball people don't understand how to run the and another throw uh, pickoff battle from the pitcher to first base over there. Most people don't understand it. I'll just and keep throwing over there, throw making this guy think I'm trying die, to get it. But he's back in. And again, a throw. Runner back safely. And again, a throw over. A <laughs> he's got to be so pissed right now. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Comes back with the cut fastball for strike Slide three step. Ball. He just and wasted down. Bryce Harper's at bat because he's too concentrating on that runner. Over there. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. And a dive, but he's back. Perhaps wisely, another look to first. And a dive, but he's back in there. Yet another check. Almost. On and he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Jump set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Off Got him. Look at that. And he'll be That's why you get base. dumb. This is probably a 10, you know, 15 year old kid yeah, who just does not understand what Strong. that battle is over there. And he gets ahead. Let's go. Shaw is a big threat in a matchup like Went this. Away He's last got a time. ton of pop against right handed pitching. Yeah, I think because of his approach. He's not a dead cold guy. You want to try and sneak a piece of cheese in or hang something over the heart of the plate, he's going to absolutely crush it. But anything going away that from ball smoked, right but the infielder just happened the first, to be playing there, hey? I put the shift on for Shaw, but it went Coming right to, to him. Now, Look at that. Jesus Aguilar, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Good slider there, and he gets ahead of him nothing in one. One and one to count to the Brewers' first baseman. Looked like he was trying to work in a front door curveball there, but it seemed like it popped out of his oh, hand a little right early, hand. causing it to miss on. inside. One ball and two strikes to count. So go slide early. Curveball that time, not even close. He's got him on the ropes at two and two, but I don't think he'll try to get him out with another curveball. He's seen it he already a couple up, of times, so up here. it's not going to surprise him anymore. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Oh, this ball is hey, uh, out to deep center field. Goodbye. Boom. At the wall, but forget it. It's gone. A home run. So the base is empty here with one away. And standing in the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Moustakis. Does so he go and up here again? In there for strike or does one. he go up here? He learned his lesson low. Well. Back up the middle. Turner wow. On to first. That ball is smoked two too. Now batting, Manny Pena. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. There's a strike. That two strike home run too. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Eaton is under it. Makes the catch. Making good wood on Max Scherzer here. Into the box, Anthony Rendon. 
Set Leading to lead off the home half of the second. And a look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. This one's down to third. Ha, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> it goes under his glove. I just, this guy is probably not that highly rated. Let's see, the 67, but seriously, he makes that play. I don't. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Go ahead and steal it, Anthony Rendon. Before the 01, he'll check on. Uh, he's dropping and the ball everywhere. Look at this. Rendon on it first. Nobody. I need out. a grounder. And again, a throw. And he'll dive back in safely. Ready with the 01. And there he goes towards second. And he'll try to bust that into second, that. but this one kicks foul. Oh, and two, here it comes. Boy, good cutting there action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Here's Ryan Zimmerman now. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. He has a three for 12 line. Runner goes for second. Pitch inside the throw. Manny Pena having a game. Good throw. The 1 0 home. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for Watch the first this. strike. I'll Mason set it up. Change up. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Watch this. He's going to lay it off. See ya. Slow Ooh. grounder to first. And he'll just make the tag himself. The tag, Aguiar. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. And he lays off a pitch in there for the first he strike. He is disciplined, though. Look at it. He's not throwing much junk. He's got 19 strikes and three balls. So it's hard to wait out a guy like this. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Go up here. The short hit hard. <laughs> and a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Digging in now, when the pitcher's up, you have virtually no chance for a hit. You want to at least make him go three pitches. If he throws a ball like he did there, now you've got him at four maximum pitches. You want to make him use pitches with the pitcher. And a fastball in there Only swing with two strikes. One, one. So one, one. In there now you want to try two. and foul off as many yeah, as you can. Tom Glavin Master throwing changeups inside to right-handed batters and getting them to pull it back. There's one. Now I made him go five pitches. Hit He's going to go to it all game. Set to deal on a go ball up. and two strikes. Now a swing yeah. and a miss here as he's down on oh, I thought he so him. It's two up, two down to begin the third. <laughs> all right, now you want to go back Lorenzo to the waiting Kane. game. Hope for one for him here in this one. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for both. Even gone two and on anybody. This guy's one of the best make sure in the league, work. but with two outs, I'm not sure that's a really good play right now. He might be forced to go ahead and swing the bat. It's a likely get breaking ball. Here with two wait. outs. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. He wouldn't dare throw that again, hey? Get and a big a swing and a miss up. here, two strikes. <laughs> hey, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here. Try and dominate and execute a fastball in, and then get the guy sitting rip. inside, trying to be quick to everything, and then pull the string a little bit on a nasty changeup. Now see how he fucked around Stepping all in, over at first yelling. base. So I'm not even gonna fuck around. I'm just going. He's ready. Here's the yep. first off ramp. Guy there. fucked around way too much. He didn't need to. He's stolen base. Close as he's in there with a stolen base. Ran one in there. Oh, that should have been hit 400 feet. Wow, Yelich yeah, squared that up. Now with the plate, Matt Weeders. He'll get us going in the home half of inning number three. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. 
Fastball in there for a called strike. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. I mean, these guys look more like lumberjacks than professional hitters right now. They're hacking at everything. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough to keep his hands back. Oh. Ball stays outside. Very weakly on the ground. That's foul, so the battle will continue. They Need to pitch one more time. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Same thing. Need a grounder. Need a grounder, a home run. Check his swing there, and did he go? Check swings have always been a problem in MLB The Show. Most of the 95% of them go for and no swing. Was Wilmer Defoe. Head to head numbers against Zach Davies. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. No balls and a strike to count. Here comes the 0 1. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Defoe. A native of the Dominican Republic. He's in his third season as a major league player. Oh, good action on the two-seamer there, and it's one and two. And he fouls this one off. Hit on the ground out to short. The second for one. We got we'll the first one. That was important. All right, he's going to be a little bitch out. about stealing here. Max Scherzer steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. <laughs> hold on to it as he'll just regroup here. Throw over to first. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. And another throw over, and the runner back safely. Once more, a throw over, and he just manages to get his hand in. He's set, here it comes. Runner going a second time. He hasn't learned no his lesson, has Defoe, base runner at first with one out. Now a move over to first, and the runner back. And again a throw, and he'll dive back in. We'll try it one more time for second. And a step off, but no throw as he'll just stare him back. Another throw over, and he'll get back in safely. Runner at first here, one man out. And again a throw, and a dive. The crowd's got to be just booing right now. On its way, the 0-1 pitch. A pitch out, the throw. Poor base running there, got him caught in the hot box between first and second. And I'm it's not sure. in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. Now the one and one pitch. Popped up. Shot is wait. there. Two gone. In now is Adam Eaton. And he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. From the stretch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing it. Yeah. Mm. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 oh and well, 2. Well, he's obviously stealing. Yeah, and he doesn't want him to get off to a big lead out there at second, so he steps off to look him back. Two out here and a runner at second. And now the runner's trying for third. A pitch out. The throw. Hey, uh, wow, way to run yourself out, out of an inning, idiot. Gutsy call the pitch out, and the inning is. Yeah.
That's what you get in this Stepping game, ladies and gentlemen. Lead things off against Max Scherzer. Poor Dodger Goss. Dodger Goss. You didn't know this was being broadcast, did you? <laughs> Just totally outfought that guy. You, I told you, you use this aggressiveness against them. Poor Dodger Gus. All right, well, now we're getting into the fourth pitcher. As you can see on my right side of my screen, for those of you who don't play this game, the fourth pitcher is the only one I have that's full strength. And I don't like pitching pitchers that aren't. I should play Pitch A of Aldi. Who's the Brewers here? Wade Miley. Oh, it's so tough pitching crafty lefties. You have to have the control to do it. He does not. But I have a full bullpen, so I'll tell you what. Not looking. Not looking. Not looking. Uh, for those of you watching the settings, um, I do. I often play this game on All-Star, Hall of Fame, Legend, all that stuff, but... Um, if you do it too much, these games just become one to nothing extra inning games. If you reach a player who knows what they're doing, it's uh, there's always been an eternal battle um, in video games ever since uh, RBI baseball. Before that, I think the first video baseball game I ever played was uh, what's it called? Uh, it, uh, in television baseball. In television was around the time of the Atari, the original Atari system. And it was, like, Coleco was around at that time. It was in the mid to early 80s. I don't know. I was about six or seven years old. Um, and it just was pretty much a dot floating around the screen. It had, like, two or three colors. Um, but it's always been easier. The reason I bring this up, it's always been easier to hit in a baseball game than it has been to pitch. The, It's not like real life where maybe it's – evened out that battle um it's always easier in a video game i'm sorry i had it backwards i i apologize it's always easier to pitch than it is to hit because you know where you're gonna throw it um you know where you're gonna you know where you're gonna pitch to etc all right so we're facing a right-handed pitcher here it's most likely the guys playing an american league team or playing away meaning he's probably playing the yankees so I'm gonna put actually I'm gonna put Travis Shaw in as my DH, um, and we'll leave Jonathan Scope in. This is the lineup the Brewers would use, uh, you know, as last year. Yeah, not seven out of ten players online ranked play with the Yankees. It's it's annoying. Um, and right now, I gotta face the Yankees with Wade Miley. There's only one left-hander in dedicated left-hand hitter in that lineup, Didi Gregorius. Otherwise, these are all opposite-handed bats. I'll probably put up some run or let up some runs this game. But anyway, the pitching. From the Bronx, um, MLB Network brings you baseball. The, the pitching the half of the pitching hit, pitcher hitter battle has always had a tonight, priority or like a, an advantage in a video game Yankees. because it's so hard to react in the distance you have on a video game in order to square up a ball and hit it right. Um, if you if you ever play this game, like 
and you haven't played it for a while, when you jump back into it, it is super tough to hit. We are set for baseball here this evening. Oh, this guy's a diamond level player. And a cold strike on the facing uh, so here tonight. Uh, who is, here tonight. If you can see, he's starting him on short rest, and he has 84 stamina, which isn't the highest. It's pretty high, but I'm going to try and wait out Tanaka here and get him tired, get into that bullpen early. And this if he's smart, as well. it's he knows. Now. Man, you find yourself down 0 2. A lot of foul balls, I knew. Executed pitches right there. Well, Got to look for something up. Might have to tip your hat if he can stay down below the knees like that. And it'll be important to stay warm tonight. A chilly 44 degrees here at first yeah. pitch. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw on to first in time, one away. So striding in, Christian Yelich. Yes, he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Where does he go on Yelich at that big blue square up there? He goes low. One out, nobody on. I think he'll throw one up there. Oh, here we go with the pop ups. Is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. This is how a baseball game, a video game, would control the scenario. Is why wasn't that ball just a foul ball? Why was it a pop up? You know, and if six or seven of them happen in a game, it starts to get fishy. You also have to remember with facing Tanaka, most of his stuff sinks and goes away, so you want to like understand that he, his pitch. The pitch types, the if you look at him, strikes, go down. Rarely walks people, but what does bite him occasionally is the home um, run ball. Matt, this is where does he do when he needs a strike, too? So right here, I've got he the take sign on. Down in the does he throw it right down the middle? The keys, he, he did, and he went up and threw a cutter. Behind, so remember that. The strike zone, and what happens I'm just with sitting that dead right here. It becomes very predictable, and when you don't have overpowering stuff, you tend to be able to get hit hard. Go up. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory. It was a cutter. First. Another one. Or a slider. But you just want to make him work. Got to make him work. I, I don't know why. What he's pausing here for. It was two strike. Three, two count. Two. Not just getting started here. You can draw a walk with Brown here. Good shot. All right, get it back. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. On the oh, eighth, good pitch. The I thought I'd at least that foul that off. As he wears him down in the All right, this is going to be a fucking battle. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. You got to start establishing the, that outside corner. You got to get him swinging at these fastballs outside. The oh, and this All right, you're going to help me like that. Now let's just change it in the dirt. Let's go Manny Pena. Just Kutch, as he's frequently referred to. He was a first-round pick back in 2005. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. And kids are All right, I got to surprise him here. Watch this. On the ground, up the middle, Arcia gloves it, and he's Of course, he just beats it out. out There's always this step. fishy shit, man. Let's this is what I don't in. like. Aaron Hicks, he'll get Aaron. to take his first yeah. cuts here. Ball one. And he'll hold off on the slider here to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Running now is McCutcheon. Hit swung on and missed the throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Maybe he'll roll over on it. Yeah. Two balls and two mm. strikes to Hicks now. I know the umpire balled that one right there, but it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive right. player, you've got to build that rapport Rexy, with the umpire. I don't think this he one's got the distance. Off the inside half of the plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out. You got to go after her. He's set and the pitch. 
Takes there a you fastball go. on the inside corner. McCutcheon, the runner at second with one away. And in here. Fastball called for strike two. He's had to be sitting out over that outer half of the plate. For him to take those first two pitches right there, finds himself 0-2. I'll be surprised if the pitcher doesn't go right back to that spot. And indeed, going to throw it home. Finish him off as they get See, look at that little pause. Had he continued there, that would have been he'd have been Here's safe. Big Aaron Judge, Not runner in scoring position with two There's a pass ball Miley coming. Sets. First pitch on its way. And what did I tell you? Gets away. What did I tell you? And Eight out of ten times, Manny Pena one. blocks that ball. That run's scoring, you can tell. Two outs here with a runner at third. And a throttle yeah, back baby. swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. One in his ear. To two balls and two strikes now. In the dirt and block behind the plate. The three-two pitch is a swing and miss. That's strike three. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw. He'll get us started in the top of the second. First pitch of the inning is taken this downstairs is be a for a ball. Pitch. It's one and oh. We're looking dead red right there. Not close. It's two and oh. The two oh on the way. I'm gonna get to 30 pitches this inning. I'm gonna try and have a 20 off, pitch. But in there for strike one. You know, he fell behind 2 0, Matty, but he battled away. right there and got right back in this count. An aggressive fastball middle. That's a rip. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. I wasn't looking there. You just got to adjust, but. Next for Milwaukee, Jesus Aguilar. First pitch of the at bat. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Well, Yankee Stadium, of course, features a number of nods to the great history of the organization and its legendary players. But apparently, when you hit 52 home runs as a rookie, you rightfully get your own cheering section built in your name. What a magical go here. year 2017 was for Aaron Judge. Whoa, whoa, the slogan, All Rise, fit him perfectly. What's really cool about it was yeah. the Yankees weren't even sure he was going to make the go team coming out of spring training. He emerged into the scene, was the talk of baseball going into the All-Star break, finished that off with a powerhouse into the season, one of the best young players the game in baseball has seen in a long time. All rise, Aaron Judge. Oh, yeah. Fouled <laughs> off. <laughs> the one-two. And this is fouled at the plate. Grounded to the right, reined in, and he is out on the tag. Oh, oh the come on, run, Mustakis! Wow. Digging in, Jonathan Scope trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner in third and like two gone. The first pitch, Owen but... won the count. Hit on the ground out to short. Gregorius for. has it. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Riding into the box, Giancarlo Stanton, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. So the wave at one around the shins with no luck. Stanton is simply an all-around great knee. defensive outfielder. Not only does he have great range and great hands, he's also got a plus arm, one that base runners and base coaches certainly have to be mindful of. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Slapped hard the opposite way. And a base hit, so the leadoff man. Oh, I'm sure Yelich has all this problem. And the throw in gets away from him. Yeah, my and throws are all off. The second here with nobody out. They're gonna they're gonna tie this game Stepping up. The they're box. gonna make sure. Here's the first pitch to him. And the runner's breaking for third. 
on attempt misses the throw down well he thought about going for third and now that runners in no man's land out there and they'll slap well, that was the really dumb of that dude the down between second and third he'd have been better off bunting oh one here's the pitch a swing and a miss at a ball down watch this cocky move come on manny pina got him swinging yeah. in the dirt and he makes the throw. He just went from a leadoff double to two outs in about four pitches because he didn't understand that's not where you want to steal. Sanchez, the American League's silver slugger behind the plate a year ago. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. And 2 0 as this one's taken low. They want to give him a home run pitch here. They don't even give a shit if I walk him. I'm going to give him something. Change his eye levels. Yeah. Two and two. He had some oh, really sure. good late action on that like slider like right there. It it's hard to do anything with that pitch unless you're sitting on it and catch it out front before it breaks all the way in. Yeah, and you'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Swing and a little tapper. That was That's a foul ball. Nice, Bottom of the second here with no score. Fouled away. Mm. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. A little bouncer, but that one rolls foul. Miley into the windup. Here he comes on two and two. Sliced hard on the ground. Backhanded. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Ready now. Many Eight hit hitter. Oh, no, we, we don't have the pitcher the hitting inning in this one. Number nine. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1-0. and oh. I'm looking right here. This is hit high in oh. the air toward left center. McCutcheon mm. is nice. under it. That'll be a home run. And that's the first out of the inning. Digging in, Orlando Arcia. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Good-looking sinker on the inside corner. Third inning, no score to this point. Aye. Takes a high fastball for a strike. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? No. Nope. A little too much carry, and that's taken in for the out. Digging in now for the Brewers. Lorenzo Cain, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 4 1. With two outs, they're not playing him to bun here, and he didn't show it there, but I wouldn't be surprised down here. if he wasn't at least thinking about it. He handles the bat. Oh, that, that was me. Shouldn't have swung at that. A 1 and 1 count to the Brewers' leadoff man. 1 and 2 now. 1 ball, 2 strikes. Now a swing and a third straight fly ball here should get him out of the inning. One, two, yeah. three. Hicks is there and he'll... stepping up to the plate. Luke Voigt as we move on to the bottom of the inning. Guys like Luke three. Voigt, they've got some power. The I'm just trying to ground ball in here though. Hit on the ground to yeah. short. Arcia fields it cleanly and a good throw gets him one gone. Next for New York, I'm not trying Torres. to fuck around if he's there. First pitch on Whatever. its way. <laughs> Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Well, uh, this might signal some frustration on this guy's part. He's He might be getting a little frustrated. He's, um, he's swinging at pitches he doesn't want to. He's backing out, trying to reset. These are all things I take note of in the game.
missed with a slider. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down and unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. The 2-1 home. A ball hit hard to the left side. But unfortunately, he hit that one pretty good. This team out. wants us to be tied. Stepping in and ready for another shot. I'm not gonna lie. I hung that one a little bit. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Really deceptive changeup there. Very well executed. It looks like it just sort of dies when it gets close to the plate. One and one to Andrew McCutcheon. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Yeah. The knee high pitch that catches the zone. I'm throw it again. Oof. The 2 2 one more time. Good change yeah. up in the dirt. Strike three. It gets him so angry when you chase him with your catcher, but I really was trying to tag him. That's also a huge sign that you have a good player. If you ever play a player in this game online and he follows your his strikeout, it means he knows what he's doing. If he can tag you on a drop third or like a skip third strike and knows to do that, that tells you a lot about the player. All right, Christian. Still all Give me one right there. In the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score oh, here? He's coming uh, up. This he's continues low. for a while. Mm -hmm. Both of these pitchers are throwing very well, throwing strikes, oh, having my. good command of their off-speed pitches. This is going to be one of those low-scoring affairs. Wow. Oh, oh, Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Here's Brian Braun now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at yeah, Look at that. Good, Ready good. I'm surprised that pitch day. wasn't a home run. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside oh, corner. That junk. You know he's going to give Braun one away. Swing and a liner. Yeah. And that'll be a base hit for Braun. So now it'll be the four hole hitter. Oh, Steal right away. Nope, going, back. going back. Going back. He'll throw down the second. To throw. And he's safe. Throw a fake steal. Get him first nuts. With one out. It's probably going to come up here. And oh, two to Travis Shaw. Now I'm going to steal he again to stay out of the double that, play. Boys. I know he swung and missed it. He felt the breeze from up here. Sort of a but hit and run, but a safety hit and run. We got action. Running yet again for second. Ripped oh, the come line. on. That puts me ahead right there. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Again, he's off for second. On the ground to the right side. Throw. He's got out. him. Oh, All the way to play. third. Good hustle, Braun. I think his pitcher got injured. Oh, Gliber Torres got injured. Oh, they have a deep team. Neil Walker's no piece of cake. Either. So stepping in, Jesus Aguilar, one for one after a single his first time. Yeah, broke his legs. First pitch coming. Here it is. Tough mm. slider down low for a strike. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And yeah, they're going to hit the board double. first tonight as this ball's down for extra bases. And the run will score as the Brewers are off to an early one. That had a lot of air under it. I don't know if he was going to get there. But that, Standing that in, right. Mike Moustakis comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Open stance by Moustakis, and now the pitch. Knee high slider that he takes a look at. He comes off here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna One run, hit this ball like hits. 400 no feet. errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. I dare you to go up and in. Oh, I'll do it. A great job, just to be. He knows it too. I was way out of the zone, and I still got to it.
able to foul out. The one-two. Hit hard on the ground to second. Taken by Walker. And he will get him at first. All right. Fine Got my run. From short right and that in. Digging in for his second at bat. Aaron Hicks. Leading He'll lead things time. off here in this one-run contest. Aaron Hicks. See, what this guy I think is doing is he's swinging at anything that's a strike, and that's just not the right approach. Ooh, and there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Pop up. up. I go. I go. Scope waits on it. One down. It was a mistake for the first to let go of like over there. Look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. A swing and a miss on a ball that jammed him. We're moving along in this one, heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well. Mm. And one of the reasons why, first pitch strike ratio over 70% up to this point in this game. Hit hard on the ground to third. And there are two away now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, over no strikes. come on. Get here's a perfect him. situation. Two outs, bases empty, power hitter at the plate. He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. Here. This on, guy's looking to do damage. You're going to have to give him a Wiley strike into here. The 2 0 on its way. Yeah. There's a strike. I love that pitch right it. there. An aggressive now I'm going to hope he rolls over on corner. something here. The hitter knew it was coming and still couldn't do anything with it. Yep. Got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really oh. aggressive and confident <laughs> over the last couple of innings. Three and two, full count. Yeah. <laughs> Now here's a check. Yeah, they'll never punch him out. No swing. <laughs> Such a good pick. And now is the Yankees DH. John Carlos Stanton. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. A big ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. Gets him to chase a ball out of the zone for the first strike. And Judge is off and running. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scope towards second. Right, throw it, Jonathan. He <laughs> whipped this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. <coughs> now in the box, Jonathan Scope. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Jonathan. Low for ball one. Wow. Power sign, right there. A swing yeah. and a miss. That's the first oh, strike. Oh. In for strike two. So don't take them if they're not your pitches. But two strikes here, you got to hit defensively. One, two. So you look up. Skied into straightaway right. Judges under it. Wood on that. One away. So striding forward now, Manny Pena flied out in his first at bat, so making 0 for 1 so far. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. I'll give Pat Manny Pena a rip here if he throws it up. One and one. Mm. You know, you don't face too many guys that have Powers thrown a nasty man. splitter like he has today. He's had this lineup off balance all game with that pitch. Mm -hmm. A ball and two strikes now. Line to the right side. Oh, oh there. Wow. Next to bat, Orlando Garcia. So far. All Oakland right, now I'm going to screw with him with Manny Pena. I have no intention of stealing. First offering on its way. And this one's in the dirt, and it's not in time as he's in well. 
Uh, now I got a runner in scoring position. Really just oh, I made it. Here's the one oh. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Pina leads off second with one gun in the inning. Where's David Robertson's information? It's all gone. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Right there. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Walker ranging into shallow mm -hmm. right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. All right, that's what I wanted. I just didn't want, don't want the pitcher leading. Oh, I forgot. Lifetime numbers versus David Robertson. He's 0 for 4. That's a mental mistake. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. And that misses inside 1-0. and A high strike there, and it's 1-1. and See if I hold this down here, he can't right pitch now, until I'm can, ready. I can, you can screw with his timing. Strike there, but, but when I do this, I often see if he gets flustered. In there, and one and two now. Oh, that ball was crushed. And Gregorius will make hmm. a catch, and that ends the inning. Here's Didi Gregorius. He was a strikeout victim in his first Didi's time. the only left-hander in the lineup. Here. Now the you pitch. cannot Very afford to let ground. him have a leadoff hit. Ball, however, strike one. He really does it, this. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Oh, he he went after it. That's for that one, cool. swung on and missed. Oh, and that slider's almost in the dirt. Hey, yeah. Strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Looks like a slider, but it's Gary crap. Sanchez. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Checks his swing mm. here, but he does so in time. Gotta throw him a strike here. Three oh. and oh now. Wow. See what I mean? I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone. He should have swung at that. That's tie that game right there. Ooh, I got Three and one the count now. He, he faded quick. Uh, we got to go Corey Knebel. Oh, 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 oh. The three and one pitch. Hit sharply on the ground. And that was so nice out. to have out there because he's range, he's rangy. Now with the plate, Luke Voigt. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First offering on its way. Right over the middle, knee high. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch mm -hmm. a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Great job to keep your hands back and not fully commit. The body was out in front on a great changeup right there, but he was able and strong enough. Hey, yeah. We'll have to leave it there as this is strike. This guy's got to be so angry right now. All right, Christian. Nope. All right, here it is. Here it is. Big power swing. Well, oh, pretty healthy hack that he's gonna time. come up there. One and one. <laughs> I just missed it. The one two. Hard on the ground toward short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw to first gets it, oh. so the off man's retired here to begin the sixth. Here's Brian. Sometimes they pitch backwards here. Now watch this. He might come up first pitch here. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Yeah, he didn't Started good pitch. That swing a bit too early. He's smart. He does it here while I'm laying off. A slider that just grabs the outside corner. 
So back-to-back -back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Normally not a good pitching plan to throw the same hitter, the same pitch three times in a row. But both of those sliders back-to-back -back were so You want to go to your bullpen. Go and try to throw another one. You want to go to your bullpen and... When these guys are warm, you want to go ready and waiting, ready and waiting. Trust me, it matters. Here's the first pitch to him. What they're, the game is measuring how good of a manager you're going to be in some way. David Robertson, just a couple yeah, of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Back up the middle. Gregorius is there. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first. Uh, error I, as this see, what we retired. might be happening here is I'm clearly dominating this guy. He's not striking me out, but what, what might be happening is like some sort of scripted ending where the Yankees so are going to win this at home in the ninth. You'll see a blown save or something. Good bite to the slider, and he takes strike one. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Just put a dot on the outside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, punch him out. Check his swing there. Did they he go never. around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Tried to hold up there. Appeal Look down at, at first. And yeah, and it will be the show if you're watching this. You have to fix that, man. It can't be that many times. Two, two. Looked at and the count moves full. Great AB so far. I'd really like to see this guy work a walk and get on base for this team. Maybe give them a shot of confidence that they got a shot to get back in this game. Boy, Moose. And there's one away. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Andrew McCutcheon. Andrew McCutcheon. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Corey Knable, the six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Good outing by. Um, oh, is he not ready and waiting? First offering on its way. Breaking ball in for a Also, strike. if you get a pitcher in the stretch. So you watch, make sure you wait till he comes set. I know you can go earlier and you may not think it matters, but it does. And the change up is way That's the that reason time. that Faces pitchers have man. differing <clears throat> set positions. The game is trying to see if you execute that well. That swing and now they'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two. Looked at for ball number two. Swing and hey, uh, looked like the knuckle curve there, and that's out number two. Into the box now, Aaron Hicks. His head to head numbers against Corey Knable. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. A ball and no strikes. He ain't going to swing here either. Yep. You can tell. Good pitch right there from the reliever. I don't think he's going to swing here either. Much with pitches in that location, unless they're looking for it. Yep, you can tell. In there, he's two. frustrated right now. Now is the perfect time to throw a changeup. Yeah. Well. It's just mad. So it's it. just how it's 28 years of baseball. I just understand the pitch sequencing. Here in the Bronx, Most players play on the seventh now with the Brewers out on top. If this guy's very good though. Not bad. Most players don't know how to work in at bat. Three O is taken strike one. Here it is. Liner in there for the base hit. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And standing in the left-handed hitting third baseman, Mike Mustakas. Yes, you can.
Hernan Perez will come on now and pinch. Pinch running here to keep him on edge. I wow. might steal though. Number 14. So they'll go to the bullpen up. now and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Perez gets his lead at first, nobody out. Runners off for second. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. He's running again. Oh, that should have been drilled. Two strike pitch, mm. chopped foul at the plate and will do it again. The 0-2 once more. A pitch out, the throw. Oh, but he thought better of it as he aborted the steal attempt and headed back to first. He'll try it one more time for second. He swings and misses. Throw down. Mm -hmm. Way late, and he's in there he's easily there, at second. Yeah. He's using up too much of his bullpen. If he, if he goes to another pitcher here, that's a mistake. Dylan Batensis comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top yeah. of the seventh. Now pitching the second. Ready. Here's the first offering. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Runner goes for third. That's a strike to throw down. The tag's there, and he's out trying to steal third. Great throw. Now the one and one pitch is offered at and missed. Oh, he chased it for bring strike it two. Bring it up. Originally from New York State. Swing and a miss. That retires the side. Here's Miguel Andujar now. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And that's inside for a ball. 1 0. Oh. That one missed, but if it's a strike, I don't know how you get the barrel of that pitch. You have to really be sitting on it to hit a fastball coming in that hard on the inside part of the plate. Skied into straightaway right. Yelich is under it. Makes the play, one away. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Aaron Judge. First pitch coming, here it is. The breaking ball that time in for a strike. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher to get ahead right there. You know you got a star hitter at the I point. realize He's I'm not coming to set to right two here. Or go deep in the count. That's what you have to do. You have to put him at do a disadvantage. Do it here. He'll think this is a fastball. Breaking yeah. ball swung on in the dirt. Pena goes to get it and makes the throw to first. Two down. Giancarlo Stanton now. Here's the first pitch to him. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. I'm surprised we're seeing so many late swings on fastballs. If there's one rule of thumb in the game, get to the heat. Nope. No swing on the knuckle curve, even at one and one. One one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the That's hole now, nice. one and two. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two oh. balls in, hmm. and they get right back outside. Nice pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Full count, three and two. Two out, nobody on. Or a strike. Sent on the ground, but right into the ship. Throw won't be in time. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, he turned. Ready for oh, they cut now. the playoff. That's ridiculous. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. Struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Watch as Xavier Sedano's curveball. Kicks and deals. No balls on <laughs> it's the big. Count. The 0-1 pitch. 
And yeah, it's fouled that's away. Pitch right there. And now they've got him in a rundown. Thought about going for Take second, it. but instead, back. now they've and got him in a pickle. And try as he might, but he can't. Into the box now, Manny Pena. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a knee high pitch that virtually has to be a fastball, right? Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon oh, I'm glad he got it. One away. Ready for another chance. Fastball first Garcia. pitch. Up. He flew out in his last at bat. A big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve. Strike one. Hit in the air to straightaway That's center. a good rip. Hicks Get down. Oh. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Lorenzo Kane. He's yeah. hit missing three at bats to this point. All right. Well, Boy, going to the ace, I think. He makes the play and that I've got my bullpen ready. Stepping in. Didi Gregorius. This is a big mistake by this guy. He left my lefty in to face him. First pitch on its way. And this is lying softly to the left side. You did not, he did not want me ball. to, um. Here comes the 0-1. Strike two as he swings and misses at a ball in the dirt. He's staring a hat trick in the face right Come now. Come on, Manny Pena. Swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Ready with another 0-2. Got him. Yeah. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. In now, Gary Sanchez. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Number 39 is on, and he'll take over on the mound in relief. Number 39. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. One out, nobody on. Come on, Pena. 1-2 and two to the Yankees catcher. Nope. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Hey, I don't mind those pitches down below the zone trying to go for the strikeout right there. But you find yourself in a two two count right here. Interested to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fastball strike. <laughs> That's ball. just masterful right trigger, there. Trigger, and there are two away. Here's the first pitch to him. This is why the Brewers are so tough. Just bullpen, bullpen, bullpen. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. He strikes him out as well, so make it back. How did I know he was going to lay off, you ask? In his... <laughs> Christian Young, Aroldis Chapman is called upon, and it's not for his usual role. Just hoping to keep the deficit at one here. Number 54, Aroldis Chapman. He's going to go breaking ball first pitch. First offering on its way. Ninth mm, inning underway now awesome. as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. To me, getting ahead 0-1, it, it's the most important pitch in the game, Matty. I, it puts the hitter on the defensive. I can only think of myself being in the batter's box, and I'm sitting 1-0. Oh. Going into the ninth inning of this game, you would assume that I would pitch Jeffress, right? I may not, because the video game is going to try and screw with me here. There's a reason this is a one and nothing game. Ryan Braun, lifetime line against Chapman. He's just one for thirteen. Seven strikeouts on the stat sheet as well. 
I mean, this is a terrible matchup right here. I'm just looking for that dead red square in the middle. If he throws one there, I'm going to go after it. If not, he can have me looking. Dead red. From the stretch. Nope, don't want it. Dead red. Yeah, look at pass at a slider that gets no, past it. him. Hey guys, that's just a nasty pitch right there. And we'll have oh, to leave it there as this is strike. Looks like the past one. Here's Neil Walker. Leading on from the bottom of the ninth inning for the Yankees. Josh Hader. The man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Slider, and that's hit on the ground towards second. And a bit of a high Don't screw around, time, Sculpt. No problem over Throw him out. They the out. So back to the top Andrew of the Yankee McCutcheon. order. Digging in, Andrew McCutcheon. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. Jeremy Jeffress comes on here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Jeremy The 1 0. Right side. On the first in time, and the Yankees are down to their final out now. Now to the plate, Aaron Hicks. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. I wouldn't put it past him to, the, to make me groove a pitch right here. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed. And now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Last chance for the Yankees. Oh. Mowing away with that one. It's one and two. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Pina gathers. Throws hey, in time. And the shot. ball game is over. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, Wade he's our Miley. top player of the up. game. Yeah, I thought he pitched really well. He wasn't necessarily dominant, but turned in a good, solid effort and definitely was a factor Yeah, he was pretty game. dominant. I don't know what they're talking about. Well, look at this. Look at this box score. Final Look at this bullpen. Knable struck out three of four, gave up one hit. Everybody else after that hitless. Burns struck out both of the hitters he faced. Not a lot of offense, though. Aguiar had three hits. Our fate attendance here tonight at Yankee Stadium. 53,325. Well, I think that's it for me today. Have a good day.